uh, very special guest in the studio. Uh, you saw him perform at American Idol last week, and he rocked it. And his dancers had black shoes with red trim. He had red shoes with black trim, or vice versa. Stefano is here. Yeah. Hi, Stefano. How you guys doing? What's amazing is, for some reason, a studio audience just shows up whenever you walk in the room, <laughs> right. wherever you go. It's kind of, I know, it's great. It's kind of cool. Um, well, so we, we hung out a little bit last night, and I wanted to ask you about something, if it's not too sensitive, from American Idol. This is something that I always wonder about. When you're the contestant on American Idol, and you were in the bottom two the week that Pia Toscana got... I was in the bottom two every week, let's be real. But, uh, but yeah, the week the that week Pia... Pia but yeah, yeah. she got voted out and you stayed and nobody congratulated you. All they yeah. talked about was how tragic it was that Pia was going home. I know, right? I was like, okay, so we were up there and I you know, and I was I was close to Pia at the time. And so me and her are sitting there and I'm like, Oh well, you know, I know this is gonna be tough. One of us is gonna go. So and uh, so they said her name and everyone was like, No <laughs> like in the audience, everywhere, the judges So, so now you're so, feeling like daggers on you because I'm like, you survived. I'm like, like really? Like well, thanks guys. Like hey, we're so why cool. did you just use quotes when you said it close? Right. Is a little love affair right? going on there. Uh, we were quote unquote yeah. close. Yeah. Yeah. At the time. That. If it's over now, it's uh, in the past. You can tell us. It something. is in the past. Um, what? It is no. It is what it is. I so mean, you can tell. So it doesn't matter. You can. Share. You guys didn't see all the all the tabloids and everything about that. Is there any truth to those tabloids? I mean. I put quotes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a confirmation. Yeah. If I've ever heard one. He was on a roll. I was on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> so were you like hey. heartbroken when she started? No, no, you know what? No, she was. So you got dumped for Mark Ballas? Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah. Yep. Ooh, did you own that guy? Oh, man. You got dumped for Mark Ballas? <laughs> I oh. guess, right? Oh. Hey, oh. it is what it is. Oh, man. No, you know what? Hey, that moment though was like. Okay, the show, it's a show. Like you you're on it and you realize when you're there it's it's not necessarily about how they make it seem, you know, all glam all the glamour and everything and there's so much scrutiny on who you are as a person, your vo voice, everything and it's just a show. Like it's it's like a sitcom, you know, and you play a character and it doesn't you know, at that moment you you don't whoever votes off or whatever, you're still that character and nobody cares. And uh, it's it was pretty crazy that that moment, but um I won't I won't ever forget that. What about when you go on the tour? I just read something about how much money you guys make. There's a guaranteed certain amount of money you make, right, for being on, going on the yeah, tour. Yeah, yeah. The top ten. What did you hear about the tour? I can't. I think it was they make you make one hundred seventy-five thousand for the tour. <laughs> Yeah, r I wish. That's what I heard, man. No, not even close. Like, uh, it you was. You get paid more if you if you get voted out later. No, no. For the tour, we actually, um, what happened was, uh, in season nine, they went on tour and the tour flopped really, really bad, and so AEG, who was funding the tour, was like, "Yo, like." We lost us. We lost so much money this year. We're not going to be able to pay you guys very much, and so I'm not going to give the number because I think that I can't actually in the contract. But it was so bad that a lot of us were really, really upset about it because of how much we were working. I mean, you're working five, six days a week, and these shows four meet and greets a day, meeting hundreds of people, and you know, signing and pictures, and it's draining. And then you have to do this huge show for thirteen thousand, fourteen thousand people. And uh, and we were being like just drained and selling out shows and didn't get much at all. So the tour worked for you guys because so, then it really helped out this season because they're getting 175000 Right, each. exactly. Good exactly. job, Stefano. Nice job. Thank you. Thanks, guys out there. <laughs> <Yeah>. You're welcome. <laughs> but now you're kind of doing stuff on your terms, new label, new song, yeah. the new song with the new boys, which mm -hmm. is really cool, the I'm on a roll song yeah, man. that everybody's starting to hear on the radio. Mm -hmm. and, and then you go back to Idol. Now, what's it like to go back and sing on that stage but not have to worry about what the judges say afterwards, but just doing your thing? It's so different. Like, when you're on the show, again, you're so scared. It's That stage is... I don't care who you are, where you perform, that stage is the, the most high-pressure stage in the world. Live television, over 20 million people watching you, all the horror stories. You got judges right there sitting in front of you, just sitting there like... Or like, eh, but you know, it's all like, whatever. And then all the people, I mean, it's so nerve-wracking. Can you see famous people in the audience when you're singing? Like, you I ever mean, look yeah, over? It's, and it's not, it, they make the stage look so big on TV. It's really not that, it's pretty intimate. There's only like 300 people in there. It's pretty, it's a pretty small theater. So, you, I mean, you see everybody in there, but that's not 
actually I like performing in front of like smaller places like that. It's more intimate. It's cooler. Um, but knowing that you know you're looking through a television screen and millions and millions, and then being judged and you know every time the the trick is when you're on the show not to look at the internet. You just can't because no matter what. There's, there's going to be, even on, I mean, if you watch the show this year, there's really great singers, but everybody, doesn't matter, there's going to be, like, really, really hateful things said about you, no matter what, because there's so many people out there that had tried out for American Idol or wish they could do that, and just want to hate, just hate. Now, how, do, how does that affect you? Are you thick-skinned? Or? I'm pretty thick-skinned, but when, I'm try, when I do what I do all out of love... And then I'm brought down by just people like, I mean, that's why I do what I do, because I love music and I, I want to share my gift and I want to just, it's all out of love and just that feeling and to be brought down because people just want to bring you down. It's, it's pretty crazy. It's crazy. Well, dude, like my dad always said, uh, no matter how successful you get, people are going to try to take you down. Oh, exactly. So you exactly. just got, you can't sit there and focus on the negative. No, You're you can't. Focus on the positive. No, you his really father can't. tried to destroy his career. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, how about, this is, you know, I, I don't like to break news. Well, maybe you guys know. Did you know that Seattle does not have an NBA team? Anybody <laughs> here? How many hands? No? No they hands? You like guys didn't know that? Really? Nobody knew that? Several years. Really? Did you guys really know that? <laughs> they knew that. Christina Dugan, did you know that? You didn't know that? Have you met Christina Dugan? Uh, uh, John Jay is, does not get an excuse like pass for this, okay? It doesn't matter. This grown man didn't know that there was no Sonics anymore. What is that? <laughs> I did not know that. Did you know that, Tim? That the Sonics, there's, there's no basketball team in Seattle. Did you know that? No, you didn't. You just said no. I uh, did not know that. Thank you, Kyle. But thank my you. care factor about like, the NBA is oh, I care. Like, very low. One. So, Stefano, can you sing in front of a group of our 30 people in here? Uh, yes. Uh, you guys want to little... hear Stefano? Yeah, which song? Woo! Which song you did for us? Um, this actually, this song is about. It's more of my story. I wrote a song um, with Toby Gad, actually, who's an incredible producer, and um, I wanted to do a song that had um, had a little bit about the crash and my journey through life to get me to this moment. Um, and um, some of you may know I was in an accident about three years ago, and I was in an uh, accident with a drunk driver, head-on collision over 100 mile an hour impact, um, and I have huge scars and plates all over my body, and I'm very fortunate to be alive. And, and that's what one of the things that led me to this moment. So this call, this song is called "The Last Day." <laughs> <laughs> 